Oh, come on, Ben. You wouldn't shoot your old partner, would you? Who are you? You know damn well who I am. I know who you want me to think you are. You're on the right track. He's dead. Right again? Oh, there's some trick being played here. And I know what it is. Shrewd as ever, eh, Ben? Makeup. It took six pounds of powder and paint to make that actor look like Frankenstein. That's what they said in the paper. And that's what you used makeup to make yourself look like Latham, Mr. Whoever you are. Then if I'm not Latham, I wouldn't know things only you and Latham knew? Like what? Like telling the Reverend Williams his antique deacon's bench was only a cheap reproduction, so you could snatch it up as collateral and make a profit. Shall I go on? Jack? Dead. Don't be afraid to say it. It's only a state of mind. That is, two states. I'm in the larger one. Hell? But you don't look... Uh... Hell's not what you think it is. Fire, sulfur, devils with pitchforks, none of that. Thank God. It's worse. It's living in all your past all the time. Forever. There's a politician who sits in a room with all his speeches blaring at the same time. No earplugs either. And a king who has to keep staring at the faces of many sent to war. But you're a businessman, a very good one. You drive a hard bargain, but you've never done anything evil. Evil's not just what you do. It's what you don't do. Each day, each man has a thousand chances, but they're missed forever once they put you in the ground. But you, you can still make changes, Ben, and I'm going to help you. Don't go out of your way for me there, Jack. You're going to get three more visitations. Ghosts? Oh, that storybook talk. I think of them as conductors on the Boston main line. And you better go where they take you. Look for them, Ben. 